Hello everyone and welcome in. Hope everyone is doing well. Positive healing vibes to all the subscribers, viewers, and the world out there. Today we're looking into Aries weekly guidance message for this upcoming week. In this message, Aries, we are going to tap into the energy surrounding you. We're going to see what's challenging you this week and where this is all headed if you stay in this energy. I'm going to clarify throughout the message. I'll pull a few cards at the end for advice. If it's something you're interested in, you're more than welcome in joining us. Also, guys, if you like the vibe, how I interpret the cards, you're more than welcome to subscribe. Everyone's welcome, and it does help to set intentions for future messages. So let's dive in here, Aries, and see what we can see for your upcoming energy for this week. Most important message here for Aries spirit. What do my Aries friends need to see? energy, courage, strength, but this card is also a card of acceptance. Let's see. Mm -hmm. Something here that's crumbled. I feel like this is a relationship. Okay, the challenge is that this relationship has come to an end. This is a final nail in the coffin type of ending. For a lot of you, your person may be coming back around. They may be wanting a new beginning. Um, but I feel here there's a reason why you and this person disconnected. And just being honest with yourself and not to remind yourself of the negative, but you have to look at the situation practically. The energy surrounding you this week, Aries, is the strength, the fool, and the chariot. All majors, might I add. Definitely feel like this person is presenting a new beginning, but is this a new beginning or will this be the beginning of new challenges, right? The problem here, Aries... You've already disconnected from this person. I feel like you may even have already started another relationship. But I definitely feel an energy of moving on or have already moved on. Now, we're going to clarify all of this here in a minute. Where this is all headed, Aries. Stand your ground. Nine of Wands is a boundary card to me. I look at this as boundaries. This is a person who is guarding their heart, protecting their heart. But the reason why they feel this way is because they have very little boundaries in this particular situation. So there's definitely a need to set some boundaries when it comes to this connection. And maybe that boundary is letting this person go. Because I do feel like the, you are headed towards... A beautiful and bright future. And I'm going to leave it at that. Because you're going to set those boundaries you need to allow this person closure for you to move forward. Because that's what I feel like is going on here. This person maybe has not gotten closure yet. And they think there's a possibility that there's a new beginning here. So let's clarify Aries. The strength, the fool, and the chariot for the energy surrounding Aries this week. Yeah, I feel like you're just in a very happy, positive space. It's almost as if when this person reaches out, you're going to be like, oh, it's them again. I feel like you've moved on, Aries. Clarify the Six of Wands, the Ten of Swords, the Queen of Cups. Now, for some of you, this person is not going to be okay with this information. So there may be a need to protect yourself. And you're going to know if that's resonating with you because you're going to have experienced that in the past with this person. It's not going to be something that just happens out of the blue. I definitely feel like this is not working for you. And I feel like for a lot of you, you have already walked away, again, started a new connection, focused on other things. I will say, Aries, I do feel like this person is going to try and win you back. And maybe that's why they're coming back in. Maybe they've got a message that you have started a new relationship. 
clarify the page of cups the four of wands with the nine of wands i do feel like you're moving on okay and i honestly feel here aries you've taken your time and healed focused on new right now that you've met somebody new or now that you're headed in a new direction this person wants to garner your attention back and i definitely feel like you're not entertaining that energy okay you are definitely standing your ground now it will be beneficial before this takes place for you to just sit down and get clear on what those boundaries are what boundaries you need to set with this person if any maybe it's closing out this chapter what exactly you need to say in order for them to be able to move forward and minimize the damage because there is an energy here aries that this person does have potential to sabotage connection stuff so just be mindful now again you're gonna know if that's resonating because this person has reacted that way before so aries your advice guidance moving forward here in this energy thank you guys again for all the love and support no extended version to the weeklies guys this is strictly for youtube However, if you want to get entered into the drawing that we are getting ready to do at the beginning of June for free personal readings, one-on-one -on -one with me, all you have to do is go to my website, healingshop.net, and subscribe to the mailing list. And that is how the 31st of May will be the last day you can enter. And then I'll print off that list and draw names haven't decided how many names i'm gonna draw yet but we will see at least four at least four personal readings so aries you have already mourned this loss you've already headed you've already released this okay don't let this person suck you back in don't let it happen focus on the future focus on moving forward if this person comes back in, and for most of you, I feel like they are going to be prepared to communicate that boundary of, look, I'm in a relationship. This didn't work. I'm focusing on the future. I'm moving forward. It's as simple as that. Don't try to lie, but I feel here, Aries, most of you have moved forward from this. And so that won't be, that won't, be. you will be completely honest when you say I've moved forward from this situation and I don't want to look back. But just a simple conversation of closing out that chapter will help this person to get the hint that it's time for them to move on. So Aries. Your soul truth message coming out for your reading is what can I do to make a difference? What keeps you up at night? What makes you cringe when you think about it? Such that every ounce of you screams no more. Where can you create purpose out of your pain? Today's soul action. Make a difference in someone's life today, big or small, because all of it makes a difference beautiful beautiful so aries i feel like that's a good solid message coming out for you guys the main thing that i get from this message is don't don't even focus on this person this is just a confirmation that this person is going to try to weasel their way back in and for you to set that boundary thank you guys again for all the love and support and i look forward to seeing your beautiful souls again soon namaste